us straight up to the bow every time we start moving. <laughs> kind of funny. Jeez. It's like no fear. Heading towards the back bay. Let's go, Ember. She just likes to be at the bow. Crazy dog. it off and we're gonna head to Tideland's dock right here to load up some water in the tanks. That's where we're gonna dock. It's like a crazy nice evening right now. So I just woke up, <laughs> did not sleep at all because the dogs um, really love to bark at the seals. Yeah, it's not that much fun. What? What's your coffee mug situation? It's the, um, it's the thermal regulating Takate <laughs> container. <laughs> it's a koozie. How did we sleep last night? You know, not every night on the boat's peaceful. It was peaceful, but we just didn't sleep well. It was first Ember barking, I think, at the seals or whining, wanting to get out. And then I let her out, came back in. What, like an hour later, I kind of dozed back off, finally got to sleep, woke up. Ash, the little one, was throwing up in the boat. Do you think she got seasick? Like, it wasn't that rocky. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, it looks good. Similar to land life, sleeping on the boat isn't always going to result in the best nights of sleep. Your feet space is limited, so if you like to sprawl out your legs like I do when you sleep, the V-birth is an adjustment. However, I still wouldn't change a thing. Waking up and poking my head out of the hatch to see the sheer glassy bay in the morning, the sound of the seabirds and the seals and the efforts in making out the rock through dense fog, it just takes your mind off any worries you may have had the night before. It sounds cliche, but I really crave sleeping on the boat these days. Grant's in there installing the battery. Yeah, so there's our starting batteries. That are doubling as our house batteries, which is not a good look. And then there is the new Renegy batteries. We're trying to but every set them up. is gonna get rearranged. It's definitely nice to have a engine compartment room because it's pretty spacious. And you know, we're sacrificing other space, but important stuff won't get impacted, I guess. Projects for this week included hooking up our hot water heater and plumbing, and hopefully, fingers crossed, getting a hot outdoor shower. So I've got the uh, hot and cold water manifold set up. So it'll be cold water in. This will be a cold water tap for an outdoor shower. This is the cold side that goes to the thermostatic mixing valve. And this is the cold that'll go into the hot water heater. And then we're turning hot water from the hot water heater. Um, going through, teed off for the hot water for the a deck shower and then hot water into the house where it's already pumped. So we'll get that all glued up and there'll be a valve right there too. All right. Turns out Grant was having a hard time with the parts. Threading the thermostatic mixing valve into the PVC, he couldn't get a good seal even with the adequate Teflon tape. Additionally, he also had a leak in the glue up, which he says is quote unquote his bad. He says he doesn't glue up a lot of PVC and wasn't versed, and he remembers one specific fitting. He didn't twist and turn it enough, or even at all, after he pushed the fitting together with the glue on. We abandoned the PVC fittings and went with copper fittings that he ended up soldering together. We had seen a whole bunch in his parents' garage, so it also saved us a bit of money. Hard to do, I just don't ever know. I over sweat.
typical boat mess while we do projects. The South Jetty, a local surf break you will often hear me talk about, didn't always exist like it does today. But now it's our closest way we have to Mundial, and it requires no driving commute. Normally, it's not the easiest break to get to. You have to suit up and paddle across the bay and then walk along the beach till you end up at the break. The South Jetty is located approximately six miles north of the local state park, Montana de Oro, and butts up against the harbor entrance, sandwiched between the Pacific Ocean and Estero Bay. The jetty was built to create harbors and to control beach erosion, and jetties have been known to accidentally create some of the best human-made waves on the planet. However, for vessels, it could be quite dangerous. One of the most famous images associated with Morro Bay's jetties is a photo of the 84-foot-long Mojo, charted by Hollywood star George C. Scott during a winter storm in 1978. It was a near-death experience for them that cost the boat under $85,000 in repair. Luckily, no one was injured or hurt. The harbor entrance has been notoriously known as one of the most dangerous waterways, which is why I get extra nervous motoring or sailing in and out of the harbor. Since we've had Mundial in Morro Bay, I've spent more days at the South Jetty surfing than ever before, and probably because jumping off the boat and paddling across is the fastest route that exists. It's nice to take these breaks because I find myself daydreaming in the water about a life that could look just like this, hopping off the boat and paddling to the surf. These moments propel us to keep working on the boat, working towards living our daydream. All right, so we've decided we're going to put the deck shower right here. I'm gonna try to get this done. Noelle went for a surf and get it done for a surprise for her before she gets back. We'll see if I can do it. Well, I don't think I'm going to get done by the time she's back because she's... Right over there, you see the dogs running in the shallows? And she's over there. backwards. And then if you bite into it in your dish, you're the lucky one. So this is what our boat is made of? Your flaw is fiberglass. Oh. Interesting. Does that mean you're cutting holes in our boat? Yep. I put a plastic bag down there. Oh nice. To Thanks. try to I'm so excited. Okay, I am super stoked. This is the debut of our outdoor shower. 
Should I like actually try to take one? Yeah! Is it cold? No, it's warm. Oh, this is so nice. Is it warm or is it hot? It's warm right now. Oh, now it's cold. Oh, it's hot! Oh, it's hot! <laughs> oh my god, it's so nice. Good job, babe. I love it. Cheers, Cheers. Okay, I am in the engine room right now looking at the outdoor shower but on the inside of it and I volunteered to do the task of setting up the housing for the hose so I'll show you what that looks like now but yeah the engine room which I said earlier in this episode is very spacious once you're in here it doesn't always seem that way <laughs> disconnect the old um, control module for the compressor Play for your kids later. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot their lullaby. <laughs> Be sure to like and subscribe. <laughs>